anyways, our argument of tonight mm. is do women have game, Mm-mm. right? I still and stick with my answer. That's For like, the most part, no. Anyway, stop. Because <laughs> I have my opening argument, I have my closing argument, I have my evidence, okay. all of it. Now, before we get to arguments and, you know, second arguments and rebuttals and whatnot. Can Let's we? identify teams. Okay. I, I don't even think we should do that. No, I, do it. I think the first thing we should uh, <laughs> outline here, what is game? You give your definition, then I'll give mine. Yeah, okay. I think we need to start there. Because we're like, going to put this on the ticket talks. The ticket talks. Game. <laughs> Point one. Game is, and where my finger is will be where you're going to write my definition of game, right? Game is when you can use your flair and your creative tactics to pursue <laughs> someone that you are interested in and successfully conquer whatever you want from that person. That flair and what is game? She said flair. I and said ta- flair and tactics. Tactics. <laughs> ta- tactics. She's doing a kappa shimmy you. Tactics. <laughs> Yo, flair I wanted to. Tactics. I wanted to be a kappa so bad. Anyways, the fuck up. what? So your flair and creative tactics. Yes. If you can use your flair, to creative tactics, someone? your personality to, to get pull someone. Get whatever yeah, whether you want a uh, one night stand, whether you want to talk to them, whether you want to go on a date, whether you want to have sexual intercourse, whoever you're talking to, if you have that kind of, mm, 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 if you're the initiator of that flair, or the, sorry, if you have flair and you are, you are the initiator and that person is roped in by you, that is fucking game. And I got it. Now, I what's your think, definition of game? I think game is the ability to get someone that was not initially interested yes. in you to be interested in you. Ooh, that sounds like through whatever tactics you do. In my essentially, <laughs> like you get them okay. to be interested in you, right? And the reason why the I defense was, didn't share their evidence before we started, so not no, <laughs> go no, ahead, come no, on. Go so yeah, the, and the reason why I said that a lot of girls, and by the way, let me preface this by saying I'm generalizing and I'm speaking more so towards conventionally attractive women is who I'm talking about when I'm speaking in this context. But yeah. beauty is in the eye of the. That's beholder. why I said conventionally attractive by society standards. That's what I'm talking about. That's going to be a big word this whole discussion. Conventionally attractive. Conventionally attractive by society standards. That's who I'm talking about. I pretty much share this a very similar definition. I kind of feel like game, and I don't know. I This is why I don't necessarily think there should be teams. Like, I want to discuss this. Is game not, is there not a level of um, convincing and persuading that you're doing when you have game? Like, yes. when you're, when you're using is. game, are you not in a situation where... There are stakes where you could mess up, you know, like where you could say something and it won't go the way that you thought it would, you know? Yes. And that, I think, is the difference maker between men and women having game because I do not think there are stakes, you know? There are not high stakes when it comes to women shooting their shot or approaching you. Um, it's, 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 and if we're talking about game here, right? If it's, isn't that game? You know, like you're playing, you know, it's a game. There's rules and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it's two different. If, if women have game, I think there's two different games here. It's chess and checkers. You know, when you play checkers, you know, it's very reactionary. You're kind of going in the moment. When you do chess, you got to think 12 steps in advance. You got to think, hey, if I do this, this may not work. Women don't play chess at all. You, women do not play. Ch- they don't. You typically, for the most part, do not have to play uh, chess when they do. It's when words like conventionally attractive, I think, and all that start getting. <laughs> okay, out. Lex, what do you have to say about this? Well, my motto is chestnut checkers. So, I mean, okay, um, it's a I great think, motto. It is. I think game is when you have a certain je ne sais quoi, you know. Okay, speak you to just, that. You just have this aura of confidence about you, and you can just walk up to anybody and anything for that matter, and get what you want. I know that's right. But you that's see all why, it is. You that's you what you it see is. Why I push back on that is because I feel like game requires some level of skill and yeah. technique. Like but game is something that you had to learn. If you're using your natural God-given abilities. Yeah. Is that game? That's I not didn't say game. that though. I didn't say that though. That's if you're being game. yourself, is that game? What no, is no, no, God-given no. abilities? Like how you look, your height, if but you have titties, if you have confidence isn't something that ass. everybody has. Confidence is something that you have to learn. And I think with confidence comes learning the art of persuasion. And to some extent, 
having game means you have to know how to manipulate the other person. So they're manipulating. That's what, no, that's what I want to get into. Right? No, that's yeah. what I want to using big words for yes, Elmo. No. Good. I'm we're glad using that you big said words that. For Elmo. That's, that's what I want to get into. Oh, sorry. They're like, I think no, manipulate is game, a crazy word though. No, it's, it's true. Facts. A no. part of game, people people leave out this part because I think we're thinking about game from a positive standpoint. Mm-mm. There is an aspect of game that can be seen as manipulation. Because if I want, say I want to sleep with you, I, if I can say whatever to get you to sleep with me, that is game. No, but that's I'm lying. manipulation. That's mani- but that's game. Because if, if I, okay, it's like if we go out to LA and I'm like, yo, all 10 of these girls in this room, I'm going to get all their numbers. However I got it, you're going to be like, oh, he has game. I could have lied to every <laughs> single one of them, Back but I still have game, but I'm lying and I'm manipulating. But that still counts. And that's why I'm saying conventionally attractive women don't have game because you're using a, a lot of y'all use your pretty privilege as the game. And I saw it as I saw a tweet and it said that women don't you women, women don't have game. You guys use strategic positioning. That's and a- that is what you guys you guys put yourselves in an opportunity to be seen so that we will come to you. That's y'all three peacock, like combo. Y'all peacock That's yourselves. Like but ma- male peacocks do the flashy shit. I hope you know that. Those I are know, males. but I'm saying that y'all peacock yourselves to be seen for us to come to you. The three light combo is strategic positioning. Yeah, chess you're not, checkers. You're Your not skill talking is getting to me. someone who has skill to come over yeah, and talk to you. You're not talking to me. You're making yourself be noticed, so I will come to you. But that in That's itself is game. game. But the thing is, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you do that as a man? So are, no, if no, you say, really, no. time out, time out, time out. If you say that you have game, are you also saying that you're a manipulator? No. Is I'm it not it synonymous can, though? No, I hope no, not. No, it's not. I'm saying game can be manipulative, but you don't have to. There manipulate. are men who, okay, but the thing is, I, I personally, it's, I think there's a, there should be a differentiating factor because when I think of anyone, male or female who has game, like Lex said, you have that certain genetic qua, you have that certain, you know, flair, you, you're a slick talker, you, you know how to, you know what I mean? Like thing, but when you're lying and manipulating, that's not game. That's just being fucking waste. Is, I don't, know, I don't think that's game. Two things could be true. Yeah. Cause when I think of game, I do think of it as kind of like a nasty manipulative thing. I think of it as a man saying what he thinks needs to be said that he doesn't actually believe in, in order to get that woman. So do you have game then? Because then you're admitting to manipulating See, I don't think that about game. <laughs> I think you can be manipulative in your game, but game in itself is not manipulative. Like, it's like Hitch, right? The movie, everyone's seen Hitch, right? <laughs> oh, okay. He right. teaches guys how to get women. By and he not doesn't, necessarily. And he but doesn't technically want... Technically, Hitch was manipulative. Yeah. He's putting... Mm-hmm. He's making the guy do stuff that he knows that the girl will like. Mm-hmm. Technically, it's not genuine because he's not really being himself. And that's right. what the end of the movie is, is him going, oh, I thought this is what women liked, but really, they like it if you're yourself. Like, that's the end of it, Technically, right? that's manipulation. But when they're on the boat it, and he... But he's doing it for a good cause because the guy genuinely wants her, but the way he's getting her is through slight manipulation. But hear me out for a second, right? Think of like the seductress or like the siren, like that woman. She has game, but the game is riddled with her, like her confidence, her aura. Like when she walks into a room, she doesn't have to do anything. But when it comes to talking to a man, she understands the art of conversation. She knows what to say, how to say it, when to say it. That's game. And I guess that's manipulation, I guess, in a positive way. Because we think of word manipulation and we think of it negative like it's not a good thing you don't oh you're a manipulator but having to manipulate yourself in a situation to put yourself higher up and to make a woman like you by lying like that's not game that's whack yeah yeah that's but, how i see it but a lot but that's what i'm saying a lot um some girls the, like manipulation manip- okay hold on manipulation is before you game. continue the definition of manipulate is to handle or control typically in a skillful manner yeah, There's so nothing to say about lying. It's not as negative as we think. Not as yeah. negative as we think it is. So the first yeah. definition is to handle or control a situation typically in a skillful manner. Then can we agree that game is manipulative then? Yeah. Yeah. Because you're using skillful manner to <laughs> control what's going on. For instance, that's why I feel like the, the game that a lot of people talk about when a lot of women have game is a sense of manipulation. For instance, take if Zoe gets stopped by the police... And if you get stopped by the police, if she could get, if she knows that if she bats her eyes, mm. maybe pulls cleavage down a little bit to get out the ticket, that's manipulation. You manipulated him yeah. into having mercy on you. 
Fair. You can't do that. There's nothing you can do to get out of that ticket. Definitely. No, he can like that flex is, his pecs. No, no, no. He okay. can't. I don't know what kind of cough. I think, okay, level the playing field there. Okay. If you go up to a girl and bring her a drink or you go up to a guy and bring him a drink, that's it's not more the same. level. That's still okay. not the same. Let's How say, is it not the same? No, Let's not. say those two things happen yeah. and they, the same outcome happens. You know, you end up going home with each other. I'm saying if the woman who goes and gets the guy the drink she didn't need to have the game. She didn't need to go buy that drink in order for her to go home with that guy. The guy does. No. So then are we just saying that the rules are different for women than they are for men? It is. Yeah, okay. All you have it to, is. But, okay. then, but then women can still have Jesse games, Jesse Checkers, though. two yeah. different games. <laughs> Some, I'm, I'm just talking about the... Of the majority, I think a majority of women don't have games. Some, of course, of course, some women have games. I have games. I, I don't shoot think my shot. You Thank have games. I have games. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> it started with let's, you. Let's get into it since you want to air me out. Okay. Okay. Started out with my business. This started with you. I have game. The situation that you saw was a tactic that I had to use for a specific type of man. Right, mm -hmm. that man that you saw me air quotation spit game with, he technically like, like I said, I was also explaining to my friend Dre. There's a different, there's different calibers of men you do certain games with. Mm -hmm. Most girls know when you're trying to talk to a guy that is, I don't know, maybe a different country or whatever. You have to air quotations spit your game differently. The way I did that because I knew that is how, how he what he would okay, respond but you, to. But do you think that? You, that you got a positive outcome from said person strictly off of your game. Strictly off of my... Are you... I, I if just you want didn't you have game in that situation... I just want you to acknowledge that the dominating factor of that situation is because you are a good-looking woman. That is the difference with game. If you... Like, pretty privilege and being good-looking opens you up in a way that other people don't have that same ability to do. And a lot of men don't have that same ability to do. So you think because I liked three pictures, my three pictures, and that's like I said, that's Your only, tactic. stop. That's only for men I don't know, right? If it's a guy who lives like a different city and he's like, I don't know, uh, I don't know. A what carpenter. Is, sure. <laughs> or he's like a celebrity tattoo artist. Right. And I think he's attractive. So I'm going to like three pictures because like I can't just slide into a celebrity tattoo artist DMs. I have to be noticed first. So, yes, I'll agree. I'm peacocking by liking my three or liking his two old, one recent picture or one recent, one middle, one old, whatever your tactic may be. I'm giving away free game. This mm -hmm. works, ladies. It does. It does. And and Lex does it. Like I said, there's certain, when you're reaching out to someone who lives like lives in a different city, you know, maybe has a lot more followers than the average person, like you have to do that little, you know, tactic, right? Okay. okay and that's considered like bait. Yeah, okay, but now look at this. Let's level the playing field. You did that tactic with a guy. Mm -hmm. I do that tactic with a girl. Let's say the, both other people, the guy and the girl, both think we're both attractive, right? Right. You liking three pictures, that's probably going to be enough for you to engage in conversation with that guy and, like, for something to start just off of that, right? Like okay. You could DM. You could start with that. Me just liking the three pictures of this celebrity tattoo artist woman <laughs> is not going <laughs> to cut it for me to start talking to her. And that's why I feel like it's easier for y'all and it's not necessarily game because... We men open the door way easier than women do for conversation and to initiate things happening. That's why it's harder for us. There, there, there's times when I want to slide in a girl's DMs and I wait months to find something interesting on her story that I can actually reply to. Y'all don't do that. Like, but that story, you someone, you, that example of that story you did reply to. That's just one example. <laughs> that was a terrible talking okay, point. Okay, but all right, let's talk about, I think I mentioned this on a previous podcast before I was on it. I mean, on a previous show before I was on the podcast. Mm -hmm. About, um, I told you guys when I met that dancer girl that I followed on Instagram and I thought was fire. I think so, yeah. Okay. Where I met her off, basically for you guys that don't know, there was a girl on Instagram that I was super feeling, but she lived in LA and she was up like a dancer. Mm -hmm. She was coming to Toronto. I ended up being able to go to that place that she was coming to because other people I know were involved. 
when I'm telling you, I strategized every single thing down to the shirt I wore, the belt I wore, the shoes I okay. She likes Jordans. I'm gonna wear this. That's she likes game. some designer stuff. I'm gonna wear this. That's not game. That's, that's strategic lame. positioning. That's no, lame. That's, that's lame. strategic <laughs> positioning. Because you know why? It worked. I walked past the girl. She said, "I like your belt. That's all I need. Give open, crack the door, <laughs> and I will kick it through." <laughs> Crack the door and I'll kick it through. All I needed was some icebreaker. She said, I like your belt. Why? Because I knew she liked designer stuff, so I wore the designer belt. And she talked to me off the belt. And that's all I needed. And women don't have that to turn the Cat. belt comment into a whole thing. Like, Cat. no, that's, that's what yes, we, we have to do. That's giving you from Joe. That's giving Joe from that's you. Giving Joe like, from that's giving Joe. That's... That, no, you're a real Scorpio that's for real. Strate- that's you're a Scorpio, hundred percent. But I definitely think me as a woman, I definitely not to you that level. To do, you wouldn't have to do any of that. I'm not doing like, oh, let me go on his profile and see what he likes and this is. I'm not doing that. But strategic positioning is if okay, I'm gonna do that, and I've done this before. I've reached out to someone I'm interested in when I knew they were gonna be in the city. I hit them up, and then you know I went to meet them where they were and planned it out. Yeah, but how? But that's this is what I'm saying. Was that hard for you to do? Were you running game, or did you come to a mutual agreement with that guy? <laughs> like, you know, what do you mean? Like, was it hard for you? I'm not begging. I know, but I'm saying, <laughs> what did you feel like it was a challenge Hell for fucking him yeah. to link up with you? Hell yeah. You you genuinely think so? What do you mean by challenge? Like, did you? Was it hard? Hard in what sense? Was there any like, point, ever a point where you were like, oh, this may not work? This might work not out, work. You know? Yeah, like, for sure. Like if I was work. like, oh, he, what if he doesn't respond? No. Man, from, that's not, yeah, that's through not what his resp- <laughs> Through your back and forth, was there any point where you got the vibes that, oh, this might, I, I might not get this one? Not, not because of your assumptions from what he was actually saying to you. Oh, no. He seemed pretty, like, straightforward. Like, <laughs> exactly. I'm going to be here, like, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. It it does. It usually doesn't work like that with us because with y'all, even if you're feeling us, you you guys kind of want to keep us on our toes. So you kind of make it seem like, mm, yeah, I mean, maybe I could link you. Like, well, but see that's because I... men dominate the game. That's why. Yeah, you have to learn fact. how to work it based upon how you guys made the scene be in the first place. The uh... reason why you guys think women don't have game is because game was created by you guys. That's the thing. Literally, the concept of game is something created by men. And you think women don't have it because we don't approach game in the same way you guys do. But two things can be true. But that's they, true and y'all still don't have game. But like 100... <laughs> that's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, no. Like, sending an eye emoji is not game. But Why? you guys do it. Yo, hold yeah, on, hold on. Like, let's hold on. Stop, stop, stop. That's what I'm saying. Let's go, let's go. Let's, let's really do this. Let's really like, crack okay. open what's, what's happening. Okay. If my eye emojis get you to either take me out or give me dick. Let's talk about how easy you niggas are. That's because if I, I know, yeah. nobody's, nobody's yeah. arguing because that. Because if I yeah. know that I can give a little uh uh, little fake ass uh uh, <laughs> eye emoji, little two, and niggas like, what's up? You niggas are easy. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Women don't need that game because men are why easy. Why else are very am I easy. gonna come into the deal with no hoopla, rada, blah blah, no, no, baby? No, no. But the no nigga, is... take this eye emoji, take this little no. peeking gift, and I know you're gonna respond. Yes, but the thing is. Because you're man, easy. Niggas are easy. That Why do you need fact. game for something that's easy, though? You like, still need game, but things I'm not pulling in, like, 50 fucking points, Giannis. I'm almost, putting in, oh. like... You want to think about it like an equation. You got to do X, Y, Z in order to, to get the girl. Women, when they run their game and do X, Y, Z, they think, oh, because I did X, Y, Z. That's why it happened. When really, you could have done just Y and half-assed X, and you still would have gotten the same you result. You niggas unpack Y, niggas you're are easy. so easy. Maybe that's men the conversation. Are, men then. are just men are completely easy. I will yeah. admit that. Yeah. And so us my as men, game, we need to do more. But my game no, is going to be adjusted to how easy you are. And since niggas are easy, I'm gonna send you two eye emojis. No, see, but but that e- the easy man is not the test of your game. Mm. The game is the guy that is, is giving you some pushback. I no, and y'all don't really pu- niggas don't give pushback. Bro. I have a story on that. There, there's, I I can't say that. There there's. Mm. So never now, been curved before. Someone may not give you pushback <laughs> yeah, never because, been pushed like back. you said, you are a conventionally good-looking woman, and and men are easy. But when you say put, okay, hold on. When you say pushback, because like I've seen screenshots where men are like, "Bro, don't fucking do this." Like to women in my like women in DM. You've seen women screenshot on TikTok and when guys are like, "I will block you." Like that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. Like that's level of pushback. I that will be my thirteenth. It doesn't reason. have to be. That's a but, of pushback. Yeah, that's uncommon. But when you say like pushback, is it like what do you mean by pushback? Like because what it is usually. Resistance? 
Yeah, because as in you're not interested, weird. and I know <laughs> you like that. No, and Clyde, I know you know these ones where it's like a girl will try to speak to you. You may not even know that she was interested in you, and then a while later she'll be like. Yeah, I was interested. I tried to talk to you, but I felt like you didn't like me, so oh, I stopped. Oh, this is sorry. This happened to me recently. Okay. Yep. Oh. That's the thing. The Sometimes I, felt, I don't even know when they're running games. I like. felt like you didn't like me, so I stopped. That is where the thing is. The game, quote unquote, would be, okay, he doesn't like me. How do I get him to like me? That is where game would come into play. Mm. A lot of y'all just give up because, you know, we're kind of in a... Because I'm not begging, bro. Yeah, no, but that's the thing. Um, society, and I'm not saying this is wrong. This is just how society is. Society is in a way where it's like women are told, you know, you're perfect the way you are. Someone's going to like you for you. You're going to find the person that wants you for you, right? Society teaches men, yo, if a girl doesn't like you, find out why, change it. Boss up, get more money, get stronger, become this and that, get rich, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's not really given to y'all. No one tells y'all, yo, if that guy doesn't like you, get more money. Um, do, no, that doesn't happen. Y'all are taught that's, that your perfect person is going to like you for you. We are not told that women are going to like us for us. We are told we have to boss up. That's a different, so, so when y'all get pushed back, a lot of you guys usually don't force it, like push back against the pushback because you're like, you know what? It's cool. I have other options, one, and the person that is for me is going to like me for me. That's why a lot of y'all don't really usually have game because you don't need it i'm not saying there's anything bad about this i'm just <laughs> saying it's a fact and plus if i was in that position i'm i'm saying if i was in the position that you guys have where you don't need to put in effort i would love that i don't want to have to put in effort we're here in the trenches we're fighting for our life is this camera on me <laughs> we're fighting for our life and we shouldn't have to do that is all i'm saying man. okay so I'm going to read some of the responses because I asked on my story, yeah. like, do women have game? And I said, if you voted no, why? Right. One person said, fine, women don't need game. They just got to know how to pick them. Facts. Someone said, mm -hmm. depends what type of love she's received. Did she learn her game by being gamed? Which I kind of, that's an argument that I kind of agree with. Someone said, some girls just go off the strength of their looks. As for game, only a chosen few got it. Another person said, I think niggas are easy, so y'all don't need to, which I don't, Fact, which I agree. I agree with, but it's like, we still have to know how to like pursue and carry a conversation depending how far we want it to go. Do you really? Yes. No, 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 yes. no cap. Let me, let me tell you why. Because there is plenty, 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 and I will admit this, and I know you will too. You can, you can know a girl that is beautiful that cannot carry a conversation, that is a terrible person, and you would still smash. <laughs> you still would. You still would. You still would. No, this is the right, this you is, this still is the right would. one for that. That's okay. <laughs> you still would because she's beautiful. You don't care. Like, after you smash, then you're like, oh my God, this girl is terrible. I post not clarity. So like, Jesus you can get through without any sort of personality. Everybody, everybody knows those people that are good looking with no personality. Yes, but it also depends on what your goal is. Is my goal yes. to be with this guy is my goal to get a date is my goal to you know get a relationship or is my goal to just smash usually when it comes to like use or uh, pursuing a man for sex you, you don't, don't need to do, to do anything, anything. Don't like do anything, most bro. of the time if you are conventionally attractive you can do little to nothing niggas will fuck anything I think you could send an eye emoji he could say what's up you could say you trying to pull up and he'll say yeah you could send the addy and you just got a dick appointment in less than 30 seconds <laughs> From a person you've never spoke to in your whole okay, life. Okay, no, I'm not doing that. That's crazy. No, but I'm saying in theory. Yeah, you yeah, could. yeah. Okay, yeah, you could. Yeah, we I can't do that. No matter how I feel like. Yeah, because men actually are, no. That's you, not true. You can. If you're you're celebrity, celebrity. Certain you women will let it. Do that. If you, you are can. a certain caliber of men, you can. Because if John Gaines, I know he's with no, but it doesn't even have to like. You know, he's married and all that stuff. But I've, if he hit me up like, "Yo, where are you?" I'm sending in the address, postal code, date. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie. Po postal number, some, all that. I've gotten some. Wild DMs. Yeah. Like, from women. And yeah, and shooting I'm not their the shot. Type, and I'm not the type of person so that's, that's gonna automatically indulge, but technically it's off it's offered. Like I've there was one time a girl was like, Yo, you're so talented. Let me suck your dick. I'm like, see what does my talent have to do with like how does <laughs> women don't get that? I'm like, how do how do what, yes. what? <laughs> Y'all get worse than that. You're getting straight meat straight, yeah, yeah. To, the, straight to the DMs. So unwarranted. Yeah, Plus fuck. one. Buddy. It's fuck. Right there. <laughs> fuck. 
men offering to pay you for feet pics and all that fuckery. Whatever. Like, would you guys do that? Uh, I don't see anything pics. wrong with that. I don't see anything wrong with it. I've had a few men a offer to pay pain. me for feet pics. If your girl was gonna sell feet pics. You're cool with that. It's just her feet. Who cares? Yeah, I, I would. Be. As, I don't. I don't think I would have a problem with that. Honestly. Yeah. If it's just as long feet, as it whatever. doesn't become sexual and weird. Yeah. Um. When does game? I just put another question because I think game is an interesting thing. Just when does it stop? Like, are you still running the game games after stops. the chase? Yeah. After the chase is it, complete, it stops once the chase is complete. Yep. That's why some people were saying, um, yeah, um, you may be able to get someone, but can you keep them? That's the real game. That's not game. Once yep. you I get agree, yeah. like keeping someone is a completely different conversation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just the chase. I you agree. You can only have game if you understand how the chase works. That's a fact. That is a fact. And I still just be freestyling. Like sometimes I just. <laughs> so you think you have game? Yeah, I, I would say game. so. I think I have. I game. think I have game, but also I think I have long term game. Like Facts. I, I genuinely believe. I genuinely Niggas believe. Got different game. Yeah. I genuinely believe that if I had enough time, and let's say resources, because there's some variables for mm-hmm. certain standards that women have. I genuinely believe that I could bag, probably anybody if i had enough time it could take years it could take years but i generally believe that i could bag anybody if i had enough time and if i match the resources of whatever sh- her standards are mm. any I, man I can sweep that. any woman off her feet i believe that i don't All think he anybody's the right broom i don't i don't think anybody is out hitch. of anybody's league i think anyone could get anybody with the right minerals that's basically what i'm that's saying deep i think so Okay. You just need the right room. Uh, I don't. I, I wouldn't so. say that. I think so. I have game, a lot of but I know my limits. What's your limits? <laughs> <laughs> like limits in terms of what? What are your limits? Like I would never go and DM a celebrity. I think that my chances of being with certain celebrities, unless it's Trey Burke, if you're listening. Um, <laughs> That's a name I haven't just heard saying. in a while. Yeah, you know, yeah, Trey. <laughs> Girls love the Trey Burke. No, 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 no. Shh, they don't. I love Trey Burke. They don't. I love. Yo, Trey girls Burke. loved every new light skin that entered the NBA, bro. Oh my God! It was Zach Levine. It was Trey Burke. I, who else? I didn't. Who else? Every every new light skin guy that came into the league, girls were foaming for them. I never foamed over Trey Burke. I've really? only I've only foamed over one new light skin in the league, and I'm not gonna say his name. Brandon Ingram. <laughs> I'm not gonna say his name. Yeah, don't say who, his name. Who else? He's yeah. my that's <laughs> my NBA crush, and I'm not saying his name. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. There's one on like every team. Yeah. Kelly Oubre. Yeah, yeah girls foamed over Kelly Oubre. Gary Trent. Gary Trent. Yeah, that's that. There's only one. All of them. Bro. I the have only foamed goggles. over one, and I will not <laughs> say his name. <laughs> no, I would never like. But I feel like <laughs> celebrities are way, like, especially male celebrities are very accessible. Like, They're you could not- DM a celebrity and they would answer you. They would answer. Yeah, you'd look at my face. Yeah. Look at my face. They w- they <laughs> would answer you. I'm telling you. Um, no. Look I at would, me. Yep. I would. Okay. For me personally, like, I would never do that. I mean, wow. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just my confidence, my my, my pride. No, my pride. If I DM'd you and you didn't respond because I've never had DM someone and shot my shot and it be rejected, that would hmm, ego killer immediately. But when don't when another reason like, why women don't have games. I know a lot. No thing is, I know a lot of women who DM celebrities for like fun. Mm. Like think about all the women who used to DM Dance and Idris because of like Snowfall and all that I'll stuff. I'll talk like, women, to you in person. But the thing is, a lot of the time these men, like some of them, just generally don't see it. Yeah. yeah, like women just keep shooting. Be like, okay, they don't see it. I'm gonna shoot another one. They don't see them, but some of them see it and they respond. Well, for me, um, if I talk to you in person, I'll shoot my shot. If not, I'm not taking that chance. That's Fair. my limits there. But I've I have never shot my shot first, and never been successful. Yeah, that's usually yeah. a lot of failed that? relationships, uh, talking <laughs> stages. But that's not the point. The chase was successful. Yeah. That's usually how it goes because y'all know that you guys look good and guys are gonna rock. It's show. not even about that. I don't even. I just know what to say. Like yeah, that same. comes from having game run on me. Yeah, That's I know. How I know say. the game. I've had some slick talkers in my life. Like I've had some guys. Who I'm like, damn, he was slick, and he definitely got what he wanted from the chase. But like I said, you like the guy in my what's it called in the comments said a lot of girls know game from how they've been gamed, yeah. and some right. of the niggas who run game on me were slick, and I'm taking some of their tricks. Have you ever, ever <laughs> have you ever seen someone else run game and be like, yo, that was good. Because I have. There's a celebrity. I won't I'm name trying to, I've definitely been in that. I girl. won't I name like, his name. But a girl showed me a conversation that she had with a celebrity. 
And I looked at it and I was like, well, I, I understand why he gets so much women. This guy's so really? Yeah. I was like, damn. What's like, his profession? He's a R&B singer. See, when you're like Where's that, you just get to say anything. And <laughs> no, no, no. no. Well, it's not Trey Songz. <laughs> it's not Trey Songz. It's not Chris Brown. But I was okay. like, damn, this this guy is smooth. Like, damn. I got to write some of these lines down. Like, oh, shit. Yeah. Word. But I, I, I don't Anyways, know. to wrap this topic life is, up. Life is just women have game. easier for you. And women, men have game. But I not think, everyone has I game. I think not every. I think women Majority can have game. Don't. Majority of women. Don't. Like I said, there, there's Have levels. Future. There's levels of the game. The game situation that you, uh, what's it called, game example, that me not having game, that's because the caliber of man that I was shooting. If it's like a regular, I shouldn't say regular nigga. If it's like a nigga that is more accessible to me, like in my city, my game is, I have good game. That's the niggas I shot at. They definitely, I've got good game with them. Bay Street baddies, finance bros, I'll shoot my shot every single yeah. day. Fine, what is what, that? Finance what is that? bros, the Bay Street bodies. What is that? What is what, that? What, I worked at Cactus. What, is, what, is, what is that? What is that? The I finance bros, them. the guys that work on Bay Street. The Bay Street. There's like a group of them? No, like Are, are just, these like Caucasian oh, men just, with suits? No, it's just all men. Black people can be financed too. No, I know, but I'm saying, is it, is it like an actual group of men that like yeah, are the they finance known? bros downtown. But are they known? Who are they? Oh, they just work on Bay Street. But doesn't matter. Like, is there I'm, like a team? Like, I'm, how do we find them? Yo, like, Zoe thinks there's an Instagram account. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, who's the, like, who the finance, bro? Who's the finance, bro? You who have the to? finance, bro? You have the finance, bro? I'm getting Wolf of Wall Street vibes. Yeah. Yes. In the office niggas, doing yeah. cocaine off of hookers and stuff. Oh, I'm Jesus. not going to talk about that, but finance bros definitely do coke. I oh, worked at a restaurant where they frequented and- Who uh, are they? Is there a name? The finance bros. Is there a bro. leader? Finance bros. You don't know the finance bros? I work a leader. for one of the I'm, partner I'm sure restaurants. Yeah. If I Google and finance lunchtime, bros, what will come Google, up? Go, go on, on TikTok. Instagram. No, TikTok. Finance bros in Toronto. Are they in suits doing TikTok dancing? You've never no. been like on Bay Street it's just like, the t- in the middle of the day? <laughs> <laughs> lunchtime, go to like Moxie's, yeah, Earl's, right. King Street, Earl's. Walrus, Cactus. You'll find them. The Shangri-La lobby. I ain't yeah, never been Carl in the King. I ain't King's see top. one nigga when I search finance King's bros Toronto. Top. Yeah. I ain't see one nigga. Go I've to seen York a lot of white lunch. women and a lot of white men. They're not all white men. It's just usually. They come in. I got yeah. more research later. Drink a whole yeah. bottle of wine yep. on lunch and then. <laughs> Those are the sugar daddies. Anyways, regardless of men and women have game. Is the game different? Yes. Different game. Generally, do men have more have to put in more work in the game yes. yes but do women have a certain je ne sais quoi in game and flair and flair absolutely that and we're so leaving cool. it at that you gotta do the but anyways but anyways <laughs> you and that fucking sound. I love that movie. So I just, anytime but I anyways, I had a, a speaking a, of daddies. Yeah, speaking of daddies, you said sugar daddies. Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh well, I it was guess a rough segue. It was a rough. Yeah. Segue. <laughs> <laughs> but speaking of, um, I deserve. I deserve this. Yeah, yeah, please. Um, but yeah, I had a, a request. A friend wanted me to like talk about this topic because she got into a little, I guess, like I don't know, discussion with her group of friends about. And I, I agree with her. So basically, the conversation was about, like, are parents indebted to their kids for their entire life or are kids indebted to their parents for their entire life, right? So when I say that, um, if everyone's a child, but so, like, are you supposed to, once you get, once you become an adult, are you supposed to financially or whatever, like, care for your parents or are you indebted to take care of them once you're an adult because you're an adult now you can provide for yourself, you just need to provide for them and whatever? Or do you think that as a parent, you should be financially or whatever, emotionally, mentally supporting your kids for their entire lifespan? I mean, yeah. Well, firstly, like, I didn't ask to be here. (laughs) So I feel like your parents definitely should support you 